Oh my god, how do I even start out this video? So a few months ago, I was on a flight home from up north back home and I was really bored in the airport. So I stopped by one of the bookstores and I got a word search book. And I realized that I had really missed doing like word searches and crossword puzzles and fun little games like that. Well, come to find out, any kind of printable games are really hot on Etsy and can be used for so many different purposes. You can target them toward homeschooling moms. You can target them toward like um, things to do with like bridal showers or baby showers. You can really do a lot of things with word searches, crossword puzzles, those types of things. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to create a word search that you can use for your own use or you can sell it online on Etsy for passive income or your own website or whatever. But before we dive into today's video, my name is Megan. I'm so glad to have you here. I teach people just like you how to create digital designs with Canva and sell them online with ease. So if you like today's video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the big red subscribe button below. And if you've got any questions or comments, suggestions, whatever, drop them in the comment section below and I will do my best to help y'all out. So with that being said, there are a couple different ways you can go about creating a word search puzzle. So I know I said a few minutes ago, like crossword puzzles, Sudoku puzzles, those types of things, those are cool too, but we're gonna focus more on word searches. And like I said, there are a few different ways. You can either number one, use a pre-made template with Canva. Now you can't resell that. You can't claim that as your own work and resell it, but you can use some of like the elements from it. You can number two, create one from scratch or number three, use a website that I already have pulled up in another tab and we will go over all three ways. So let's get started. I've already got Canva pulled up right here and we're going to create a design and we're going to go to custom size and we're just going to create a letter size document. Um, that's what I would recommend doing, but I mean, if you want to create like a oddly sized document and that's cool too but for this one we're just going to stick with a letter size so over here we've already got templates pulled up and we can do we can type in word search so if we type in right here i was actually going to do a winter one so this one works out this one works out pretty good um maybe not winter clothes but this will work for now so if you were to download this and try to resell it online, this is not your work. Someone else created this, so you can't sell this as it is. But if you wanted to take away this green background and you wanted to change, um, change like the border around a little bit or like the, the weight of the border. Oh, well, maybe not that, but if you wanted to change a couple things around on this, then that's always the easiest way to do it. Um, I wouldn't keep these same words though. I would have to change the words. And if you wanted to go this route and keep, you know, um, if we wanted to delete the mittens and then the, the hat and the boots right here, you could do that. But like I said, I would recommend changing these words. The only issue with that is that these words are like already pre-made in this box. So if you were to change these words, you would have to change like all these letters around and that gets really tedious. So that's why I recommend just starting from scratch. So I'm going to highlight all this stuff and I'm just going to exit it out and we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to title this um, test word search because honestly, this is the first time that I've done this. So it's going to be a learning experience for us all. Fun times, right? So a tool that I use a lot in Canva, well, not really a tool. It's like a hack. Well, I guess it's a tool hack, whatever you want to call it, is the magic button. And that would be the forward slash on your keyboard. So anytime you hit this forward slash button right here, this magic box is going to pop up and it's an easy way to find a table. So for this, 
Um, before we make our table, let's open up a new tab and go to Etsy and see the sizing of people's word searches. Um, I was like looking at this stuff earlier, but I didn't try to make it. So um, let's do printable word search. And we'll just see kind of how big these are. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I know that's like very hard to see, but it looks like it's like fifteen down and then I don't know, probably fifteen across. So for this we'll do well it's only gonna let us do eight, but we'll we'll give it a shot. So we'll do eight by eight. And if you want to add more rows or more columns, then all you need to do is hover over these little lines right here. And you're gonna left click these and you can add a column before or after. Um, we'll add a few, we'll add a few both ways. Um, there really is no right or wrong way to do this. It's just, are all the words gonna fit? You just have to make sure that all the words fit and then like just add random letters for the rest of it. So. Um, I think this looks pretty good. Like, I'm not actually going to go in here in this video and add all the words because it would probably take me like an hour and I'm really not trying to make a super long video right now because I need to be in bed, but that's another story. So here's our table and I'm going to go ahead and add a title to it. So I'm going to hit T on my keyboard and it's going to pop up with a text box and I'm going to change this to winter word search because a few minutes ago I said I was planning on doing something winter so we're gonna stick with winter and I'm gonna move this up a little more and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another text box by hitting T but I'm gonna change this font to something very plain um, I'm going to change it to Glacial Indifference. I really like this font, but you can really change it to anything. Um, I mean, if you wanted to keep it like a more cursive, like girly font, you totally could, but I don't know. I'm kind of weird about stuff. So we're going to change this to a list, and now I'm going to type out a bunch of different winter words. Okay, took me a few minutes to get some words down that are related to winter, but here we go. This is what I came up with. So once you have your words set up, then again, this is another tedious thing. You're going to have to hit T for text and then make the font a little bigger and then kind of go one by one and move these around. Let me actually, you know, what? I think that's pretty good. All right. So S and then you can duplicate it and hit, um, in and you gotta like line this thing up um oh and then one more for w and then you would just like have to go through and make sure that all of these fit again this can be a little time consuming because all these might not fit properly, and then you might have to resize this. Um, so I mean, you can do it this way, but like I said, it's it's a little it's a little complicated. But there is a super easy way to do it if you do not want to do it this way, and that is called mywordsearch.com. So if you go to mywordsearch.com, this is what you're gonna see. Um, it was actually set to like flower or something, I think. Um, but I changed it to square. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff right here. A lot of, lot of letters, okay? So if you scroll down, um, there's a couple of like FAQ types of things. And if you create, hang on, where was it? Um, let me see. Okay, do I own the rights to my word search? Yes, my word search will never make money from your work. So that means that if you create word searches using mywordsearch.com, 
then guess what? You get to use it, you get to sell it on, you can sell it online, you can use it for your own self. There are lots of things you can do for it. And if you keep reading all these questions, they actually have a lot of different things. So if you wanna do the crossword puzzle route instead, or you wanna do the worksheet maker and don't know how to do it on Canva for free, then you can always use this. Now, if you do create a word search with this, you do have to pay, I think it's like five bucks a month. A subscription to make unlimited word searches costs five bucks per month or 425 when billed annually. You can try it free for 30 days. Um, and it says down below that they will give you a refund on it if for some reason you don't like it. So I honestly think that if you wanna go this route and you wanna create like word games and stuff, this is a really quick and easy way to do it. And it's probably worth the $5 a month because Honestly, if you do it this way, there's nothing wrong with it, but this is like a lot of extra work when you could just pay five bucks and create unlimited ones, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a winter one. So we're gonna, I'm gonna move my face around a little bit. I'm gonna move it over here. And I'm gonna change the puzzle shape. There's a lot of different ones, but we're gonna do a snowman since we're talking about winter in mid-August. And you can change the puzzle size. If you want to do it tiny, then that works, but like you can't fit that many words. So we're going to stick with huge and we will see what this looks like. So what will my word search look like when I print it? Something like this. Obviously it's not going to be the smiley face, but it should be about this size. And um, you can change the puzzle size. You can change the word direction. So if you want to make it simple, like if you're doing it for like, homeschool purposes or for teacher purposes, like for preschool or something, maybe not preschool, that was not good. But if you wanna do it for like elementary age kids, you could just do it for like, um, just side to side or up and down. We're gonna keep it crazy. You can change the font, you can change the font size. You really can change like everything. So we're just gonna keep it like this for this video. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my words that I used over in the Canva document. And something that I just realized while I started adding these words was when you add a word, it's going to automatically highlight it so you know it's there, unlike if you did it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and add the next word, fireplace, and I'm going to hit tab, and it automatically popped up. Took like three seconds, as not even three seconds as compared to taking probably a minute or two with the Canva direction. So I'll go ahead and put the rest of my words in. Okay, so this is what my word search looks like after I've added all of the words in from this test word search that we had over here in Canva. If I was actually gonna sell this, then I would add way more words or I would change the puzzle size. Um, I'm actually gonna try to download this one, so I'm gonna change it to big, and that one looks better. That's like a very, <laughs> a very weird size snowman, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, so let's go over here to choose plan. I'm gonna create an account and then I'll show you the next steps. Okay, once you start an account with my word search, this pops up so you can, uh, you can actually just buy one for like a single thing. That's $6, which kind of sounds like a lot, but if you create a lot of word search puzzles and you sell them like over and over and over, you really don't have to do anything extra and you can make a couple dollars a pop off each one, potentially. I haven't looked at pricing yet. So you can always buy like a single one for special events or you could just go with the basic, um, with like the basic plan, which is 425 a month. We're gonna go ahead and do the 30 day free trial for the basic, just to see what this looks like. Okay, so it asks you for your card, but it says it's like a free 30 day trial. So we'll see in a few weeks how that goes. But once you put your information in and all that fun stuff, then it comes up with this screen. Welcome to your free trial. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna get started and we're going to publish this and we'll see what happens, if anything. This is the first time, clearly, I've ever done this, so it could could take a while. 
Or I could just be a ding dong and not scroll up. So when you scroll up, it says give your puzzle a title first. We're going to do Winter Wonderland. And we're going to see if this will save or publish. Okay. So once you hit publish, it's going to ask you to confirm your words. Yes, I already confirmed everything. Um, next step. And set puzzle type. Probably just going to do it for fun. Um, but if you wanted to do educational, like I said, for like homeschool purposes, for teaching purposes, if you wanted to do a personal one for like a family reunion or um, a bridal shower, a baby shower, a graduation, something funny, then you could always do that. But we're just going to do fun and we're going to do publish. And this is what it's going to look like. So let's take a look over here. This is your completed puzzle. Congrats on writing a puzzle, print options. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this as a PDF. And when you hit that, it's gonna pop up in this new thing. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna change it to, um, let's see, word searches. And I'm just going to change this to Winter Wonderland 1 and save. So this is what our PDF is going to look like once we open it. And here we go. So like I said, this, <laughs> this one, this is a very, this is not a good version of a word search. But if you do want to create it with a... Uh, with mywordsearch.com, you can do a lot. You can create a square from it. You can create a snowman if you want to do the winter one. Um, there's a lot of different options. And honestly, I think if you want to go this route and sell these like printable games, this is a really good option. So hopefully you learned a lot from today's video. If you're still watching at this point, I appreciate it. And let me know what I should create next in the comment section below. Love you guys, and I will see you again soon.